Expected to debut within the next six months for the 2025 model year, the 992.2 is rumored to enhance its capabilities with two hybrid configurations and a new engine, though it's important to note that this information is not officially confirmed by Porsche AG. The upcoming 3.6-liter engine is set to replace the current twin-turbo 3.0 in the Carrera and the naturally aspirated 4.0 in the GT3, while the latter will continue in use for a few more years. The 992.2 is anticipated to be succeeded by the 994 in 2034, and there are indications that an electric Nunelfer, possibly named the 9998, is in development and expected to launch in September 2028 at IAA. Despite the EU-wide ban on new fossil fuel passenger vehicle sales by 2035, Porsche is likely to continue producing traditional 911 models, as Germany and Italy influenced regulators to amend the regulation in favor of e-fuels. With Porsche heavily invested in e-fuels, it's expected that the 994 will comply with future regulations. According to alleged internal and external documents, the 3.6-liter engine is projected to produce 483 horsepower and 413 pound-feet of torque in the GTS model. In comparison, the current 3.0 engine generates 473 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque at the crankshaft. The 3.6 is expected to replace the 4.0 flat-6 in the GT3 in 2027 with similar output numbers. Porsche's 911, designated 9992.2 for the upcoming 2025 model, is set to continue its evolution with mild styling updates, power enhancements, and a move towards hybridization. The exterior will see changes such as new bumpers, wheels, lights, mirrors, and aero aids, while the interior is also expected to undergo updates. The introduction of a 48-volt system and a more radical hybrid system is in the works. The lineup will continue to include the Carrera, Carrera S, Carrera T, and GTS models, each offering a balanced performance. The 2025 Porsche 911 will see a shuffling of powertrains with exterior updates and a redesigned interior. The exact specifications and pricing details are yet to be released, but Porsche's strategy of offering a wide performance and pricing range is expected to continue. The GTS model will feature a 3.6 liter flat six engine, part of Porsche's hybrid system that charges on the fly. Unlike some plug-in hybrids, the Porsche hybrid system is designed for on-demand power and cannot be plugged in. The rest of the lineup, including the Carrera, Carrera S, Turbo, and Turbo S, is anticipated to undergo significant engine changes. The Carrera models will retain the twin-turbo 3.0-liter flat-6, while the GTS will adopt a naturally aspirated 3.6-liter flat-6. The Turbo and Turbo S will transition to a more advanced twin-turbo 3.6-liter engine. The introduction of a 48-volt hybrid system is also expected for the Carrera S and GTS models. Reports suggest that the 992.2-911 Turbo and Turbo S will feature a hybrid system, though not plug-in hybrids. The updated 3.6-liter twin-turbocharged flat-6 will be complemented by a small electric motor and battery pack. An electric 998 generation was initially anticipated for September 2028, but is now likely to be postponed until around 2034. Even then, the electric 911 is expected to complement, rather than replace, its internal combustion counterparts. In terms of performance, the twin-turbo 3.0-liter flat-six engines in the Carrera and Carrera S are expected to receive power and torque increases, possibly attributed to the 48-volt mild hybrid system. Similar enhancements are anticipated across the lineup, including the 911 Turbo and Turbo S, as well as the 911 GT3 and GT3 RS, which are expected to feature an advanced hybrid system.